Hi, this is Saber. Welcome to this video series on molecular dynamics simulation with LAMPS. In this video, I would like to give a short introduction on what is LAMPS and what you can do with it. Okay, let's start with what is LAMPS. LAMPS is a classical molecular dynamics simulation package. It's uh, the name also stands for large scale atomic molecular massively parallel simulator uh, it's large scale because you can do you can run simulations on large number of atoms in your simulation box and uh, it's massively parallel because you can run it on supercomputers with many cpu cores to get your simulation results quicker also it's open source and free open source means that it, uh, the source code is actually available to you and you can change it and um, uh, so that you can change it to fit your needs okay now let's see why parallel computing is important the reason is that typical MD simulations are computationally costly this means that if you have a typical single processor to run your, your simulation on then you can only simulate a relatively small number of atoms and you can only reach short time scales. For most applications, we are interested in large systems and long time scales. So to achieve this, uh, we need to run our simulations on multiple processors efficiently. But writing code that can run on multiple processors efficiently is not that easy. And this is where Parallel simulation packages like LAMPS come into play. Okay, now let's move on to how to install LAMPS. If you go to your browser and search for the word LAMPS, uh, most probably the first link that you find is the link to the LAMPS homepage. Let me do that. Um, I already have this here, but let's search for the word LAMPS. Yeah, the first link that appears is actually the LAMPS uh, homepage. And here, if you go to the download link here, you will find uh, all the possibilities that you can download uh, the LAMPS package. Here are the pre-built packages, like uh, for example, pre-built uh, Ubuntu executables, RPMs for Fedora, Red Hat, and so on. And also for the Mac and uh, Windows. So you can download these and install them on your system based on your uh, the type of the system that you have and you could also install this uh, sorry the download the source code if you like this is the compressed version of the source code and you could also clone the git repository git, uh, git repository this is the github link uh, to the git repository of lamps you can download it. It has uh, three branches. One is the stable, which is the most stable ones. Probably you should use this one. But uh, there is also an unstable version, which is which probably has more uh, new development in it, and that's why it's not more unstable. And there's also a master branch. But for now, I would I would recommend that you go to one of these pre-built uh, packages based on your system based on your operating system and download them and use them and later if you want to change the code or have a look at the code you can uh, use one of these uh, other methods now it's time to run a simulation with LAMPS to run a simulation we have to provide an input file to LAMPS uh, what it does is that it reads commands from an input file and execute them one by one so it is important to know that actually the order of these commands in the input file uh, is important. Uh, I'm mentioning this because uh, some other simulation packages actually first uh, read the entire input file and then run the simulation. This is not the case for LAMPS. So if, you're, if you are used to some other simulation packages, uh, you might want to keep this in mind. Okay. Enough for the slides, let's go and run a simple simulation with LAMPS. Before running our first simulation, let's, uh, let me show you how you can uh, go to the 
LAMS documentation. Here is the LAMS uh, homepage. If you go to uh, documentation, you can see that there's a link to manual. And there is the LAMS documentation. It's a very useful documentation with a lot of uh, descriptions and everything. And what you are going to look at today is the commands part of this documentation. And we are going to look at actually different kinds of uh, different sections in the input script and uh, the commands that you can use in different sections. Okay, let's go back to our simulation. To run a simulation, what we are going to do, what we have to do actually, is to write a, an input script for LAMPS. The input script typically contains four sections. Uh, the first section is uh, initialization. In the initialization section uh, that we have, what we are going to de define is actually the, the units that we are going to use for, uh, for our simulation which in this case we are going to use uh, Leonard Jones uh, units by the way the units are defined uh, in the LAMPS documentation so if you go to the units command in here this is under section initialization and units you can see that okay you have uh, these options for your unit style so we are using this LJ uh, style you can use uh, all the other any other of this base uh, according to your uh, yeah what uh, whatever it is appropriate for your simulation uh, needs so let's go back to our input script uh, uh, after units you have, we have to uh, go for the dimensions that we, uh, we are going to use because we are going to have a two-dimensional simulation we set the dimension to two and then we are going to specify the atom style that we are going to use in our simulation we are going to use atomic uh, atom style also you can uh, find this under the commands here you can find the atom style here you have different types uh, different styles you can use each of them based on the uh, molecular uh, shape molecular interactions that you want to have in your simulation okay uh, uh, but then we go over all of these uh, in depth later but for now we are going we are just going to have a simple simulation so the next section in uh, lamps input file is atom definition okay in atom definition what we are going to do for now is that we are going to define a lattice uh, atom definition you can also specify uh, the position of each atom initial position of each atom in the space um, one by one but that's not what we are going to do for this uh, video so if you are going to do a lattice first we have the first thing that we can do is to define the use the lattice keyword in lamps we are going to have a square lattice with a density of 0.1 this is the reduced density again if you go to the lamps documentation you can see that uh, yeah you have you have different kind of lattices that you can use these are 2d and uh, 2d and 3d lattices and uh, the second argument that we use is the scale which in case of uh, leonard jones will be a reduced density so the radius density that we use uh, for our simulation is 0.1 okay let's go ahead and now the next thing that we are going to define here is the region we are going to call the, this region uh, scene box this is the type of this region is a block and it starts from x equals to 0 to x equals 20 and y equals 0 to 20 and because we have only uh, x and y uh, dimensions we choose a small number for z direction because this is the because we are doing a two dimensional simulation okay now we define the region now we can use this region actually to to make our simulation box 
so see our simulation box this is done by this uh, command create box and we use this the name of this region this is the name of the region that we created uh, up here you can use this name to tell lamps that okay this is the box that we are going to create in this region okay and then we can also create our atoms uh, in this box so now uh, we have this lattice yeah we have atom positions in this box now we can tell lamps that okay now you can create atoms uh, in this box okay so we have two sections now a third section that we are going to define here is the settings section and in this section we we can define the interaction between our molecule uh, between our atoms for example uh, the interaction that we are going to use is pair style you can define pair style here to Leonard Jones with cutoff and we set the cutoff to 2.5 and uh, for this we also define pair coefficient and this pair in this coefficient is defined for all the interactions and this one and we also define the mass of uh, our particles every part all the particles have mass of one and the velocity initial velocity of uh, particles for all of them will be will be one and this is a random seed that we provide for the velocity okay and now we have defined our units and uh, dimension and atom style and uh, we define our atoms in, in the space we define interaction between our atoms and the mass and velocity initial velocity now we can tell lamps to actually start running the simulation so here we can define the ensemble that we are going to use with this command we are going to use an NVE stand, uh, 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 ensemble and also we are going to tell lamps to write uh, write down the coordinates of all atoms at each 10 steps here is what we how we can do we define a custom dump this dump command can right actually to, to a file and you can also choose a type of uh, the type of the style of this uh, dumb command but for now we use a custom style and each 10 steps we are going to write and this is the file name um, uh, that we are going to write to uh, and we're going to what we are going to write into that file is ID uh, of, of an atom and uh, X position Y position and Z position of the atom okay and uh, the end we also tell lambs to run uh, 1000 steps simulation steps okay we save this Call this lamps input. Okay, this is lamps input. Now we can go ahead and run our simulation. Let's see if we get any errors here. LMP. This is my lamps uh, executable. If you have installed lamps on your system, you will you can find this and. Uh, there's two way to actually uh, to give this input to the to the lamps. One way is to do this, something like this, and then lamps input. Or you can specify a command line option like lamps input. Both works fine. Okay, now there is an error here. Let me see. Ah, here there is a typo here actually. Oh. Save and it's wrong. Okay, 
Now our simulation is uh, run and we can have a look at the simulation results and visualize them. Let's have a look at the LAMS uh, output file. Uh, first, let me change this file name to something more meaningful like LAMS out, for example. Let's save this and run simulation again. MSA LAMS input yes okay now we have the output file here okay let's have a look at the output file and see what is inside lambs that out okay here it is yeah so the lamps output file actually contains uh, several items. First item is the time step number. So this is the number of time step at which this data is written to the to the file. So here we are writing uh, each ten time steps. So the first one is zero, and then the next one is ten. So if we look uh, for this, the next one you see the next one is uh, time step ten. Okay. And then the uh, uh, number of uh, atoms uh, is here, and then the simulation box, and uh, here are the atom positions. These are the atom positions because we specify here that we want to have the atom positions in the in the output file. You can also specify other things that we will discuss later, but for now we all, we only have atom positions here, and the ID of atoms. So this is the ID. And this is the atom position. Note that this is uh, the scaled atom position uh, relative to the simulation box uh, sizes. So because we specify ZS and YS and XS. So yeah, that's it. For the output file, this is the format. But let's have a let's actually visualize it and see what's inside. Uh, Okay, let's uh, for the visualization. I'm going to use uh, Ovito, which is this. Uh, this is the homepage of Ovito. You can download it from here and just use it. And uh, but uh, there are also other options. For example, VMD is another option. It's a powerful microdynamics uh, visualization software. So that's also fine. But for now, I'm going to use Ovito. Uh, to do that, let me just. Uh, Start Ovito and load my output file, LAMS output file. Here it is, and you can see that it's actually a 2D lattice. So this is the front view, you see that it's flat, and from the top view you see a 2D lattice. Now let's zoom into that one. Uh, and this is our simulation box, this uh, square here. And you can see that the atoms are uh, placed in uh, in a perfect square lattice in the at the first time step a time step. So when I click on this one, it, the atoms start to move, and you can see that they are actually bouncing each other. And uh, these are Leonard jo Leonard Jones particles, so they are uh, soft. You can see that they can uh, they also overlap sometimes. And Yes, so this is for the visualization part. Congratulations, you just ran your first LAMP simulation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to learn any specific topics relating to LAMPs, let me know. I will try to cover it in the next videos. I will try to post more in-depth LAMPS videos in this channel, so if you're interested, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.